YouTube kick. Listen, I just want to make some things clear. You know, I'm not going to ride no fence. Um, I do want to speak out on this. Um, I want y'all to know where I'm at. That way, you know, if you want to watch me cool, if you don't, hey. But please know that I'm always going to come from a place of tr tr understanding, okay? Um, but that doesn't mean I'm scared or I'm afraid to talk about it. Let's get that straight. If you watch all my videos on my YouTube channel, you know I'm not really afraid to talk about any subject. But I am sensible. Um, but here's my thoughts. Trans rights, talking about people who are transgender, um, men who have gone to women, um, and women who have gone to men. I don't think, here, here's one thing I want to say. Most people I've met that are trans, um, or most people who are transgender, I have not uh, ran into anybody who is extremely extreme. Right, not somebody who's all in my face. I've never had anybody get in my face or anything like that. You gotta understand that the people you see protesting and stuff like that, when it comes to these kind of stuff, like we saw happen to Riley Gaines, that kind of stuff happens when you get people who are too extreme. Those are the people who are dangerous. The people who attack people, those are dangerous. But not all people who are transgender think that way. Okay. <laughs> People who have, and this is a real thing, and I just really want to talk about this. Some people are born, and they do have this, uh, what do you call it? I forgot. Um, but they do have the, the thing where they really feel like they're supposed to be the opposite sex. Here's my thing about this. Even though you may be born with that, it doesn't necessarily mean that anybody who comes out and talks about this stuff is immediately should just be like, yeah, we should just do it. If you're five years old, yeah, we should totally say that you're a girl. Because here's my thing about that. Because people, this is what happens when it comes to trends. We see it, and this is why I'm not a huge fan of TikTok, because I feel like there's an agenda behind the, the app. But that's the story for another day. What ends up happening is people find it trendy to be a transgender. Instead of the people who are really suffering, who really have something, uh, a, a mental uh, illness that's going on with them and they really struggle with accepting their body people just find it trendy you know what today i just want to be a woman today i just want to be a boy right and it's it's so it's so terrible because the people who are suffering the most honestly are women from this kind of stuff it's not that there's a ton of people because even transgender people they still make up a very small part of the population but the only reason we've even seen even a rise in it is not because more people are coming to themselves it's because more people are seeing it as a trend more people are starting to go oh well you know i want to do that look how dylan mulvaney has made it look did he make it look like somebody who was trying to come out or somebody who was really struggling with their body or really struggling with who they are no this man came out and said hey <laughs> I want today I feel like I'm just gonna be a girl and then he literally went through a childlike version of a woman dancing around in the forest dancing around being goofy just an absolute joke and he said that represents a woman and that's what people sometimes do they they they, they see women as this this caricature they see women as this oh ditzy clueless kind of girl when women are very very necessary for society women are beautiful women are, are amazing they do amazing things but to bury it but to push women down to just being people who get pregnant or being people who just have periods or just somebody that you can just put on a bunch of makeup and then call yourself a woman like that's that's not what a woman is the, the hardships and the things that women truly go through is is crazy that we want to erase them you know i want to say this and some people, it, some people argue, I don't, I, once again, this is not a vast majority of people. We're just talking against the people who have the loudest voices. Some people believe that, you know, trans women can be in women's sports. And then some people will say, well, let's, let's make a, let's just make a transgender division. Okay. But here's my question to that. If we make a transgender division in sports, who do you think is going to dominate that sport? The transgendered women. Men who were born men and now have decided to be women. 
right those are gonna that division the trans men are gonna have no chance against trans women because most of the uh, most of the trans women are gonna be biological men so if we create a trans division in sports all you're gonna have is pretty much and here it is biological males biological males women that's it that's what we do we have biological males then regular biological then biological males who may have took drugs and women so it's not like we're creating a division to be inclusive we're just we just have two male divisions and then a female division i don't think most of the people who come out now and say they're transgender are truly transgendered because once mostly we see young people doing this and we have seen it even in our own lives even when all of us were kids we always had those want those few kids that wanted to be different maybe they had a hard family life or maybe they just want to be different is that that's, that's where you got some kids who, who called themselves emo who called themselves goths who called themselves that's when you had the people who wore bright colors the people who loved to play around the jokesters the clowns you know those kind of people and I think what's happened with transgender, just like we saw happening with mental health, there's people who will fake being depressed. There's people who will fake having severe anxiety, people who will fake having to rest, people who will literally, there's people who go out there and cut off their own limbs or break their own limbs just to be disabled. People want to fit in so bad. And people today is so hard because when you get placed on the internet, such as we do, finding your place in this world is hard because when you bury yourself in tiktok or bury yourself in youtube or bury yourself on instagram or twitter and y'all start to believe that this is real <laughs> that's where people start slipping and going into all these different directions that they shouldn't be going because even it happens to even us older people it's not like the internet is powerful because it's real people we see behind the screen but we can't break that parasocial relationship so we see somebody doing something we want to do it too just like somebody who watches somebody work out a lot they may want to start doing it too they see somebody eating good food they want to do it too they see people who travel and do vlogs they want to do it too even this when see people see people make money off of twitch and youtube and they show their paychecks on their youtube videos people want to do it too and that's where we're falling into People just see stuff on the internet and just assume it's real life and they don't get out enough. They go to school and they come home or they go to college. They do their classes and they come home and then bury themselves in their phone. And they start to think that's real life. And so you get more people who are coming out and saying they're tr they're transgendered or they want to be a different sex. All this because it's getting put in their mind all the time, you know, one thing we ultimately have to do is if you make that decision as an adult, please just look into it. I'm not going to say whether you have that mental illness or not, where you want, really want to be another party and you really hate your body parts and you really hate, you know, having um, you really hate having a vagina. Or you really hate having a penis to the point where it's destroying you. But let's not get it twisted. The whole thing of, oh, man, if I just change my sex, if I go, I've seen these surgeries, the surgeries they have to turn a vagina into a, a penis stem or to turn a penis into a vagina dude the 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 surgery is life changing and it is a life long forever you will have to take medication forever you will never be the same again it is not oh i'm just gonna turn my vagina into a penis and that's it we're done no porn porn has got y'all truly believing that's when a man uh, oh yeah when a man decides to be a woman that is sexy or something or like the, the the surgery is just a sexy thing what you guys are seeing in porn the transgenders people you're seeing in porn women who have you're, you're seeing men who have gotten breasts and they have a penis and but they have the body of a woman one there's a very few transgenders who ever end up looking like that that skews uh that skews everything skews everything for you guys what really happens when you go get real surgery because y'all thinking those penises are like <laughs> that's just a real man's penis on a real man but you guys see the transgender woman and see her with breasts and porn and think that that's that's normal no that's not how it normally goes you really go get that real surgery and go get your uh, penis removed or go get your vagina turned into a penis it's excruciating and the maintenance you have to do to take care of it 
is lifelong forever. But they have y'all truly believing that it's life saving when it's really not life saving. It's life altering. It's life altering. Listen, everybody. Listen, man, I understand going through pain of wanting to be something and hating something. People who are white. I'm sure if you grew up at a black school, you probably hated being white and wish you could do anything in the world to change from being white. I know that because I've talked to a guy who went to an all black school and he hated getting called white boy. He hated that he went to a black school and he was different. I went to an all white school. You don't think I, for one day I wanted to be, you don't guys, you don't think I wanted to be taller. You don't think, you don't think I wanted to be uh, white. You don't think I wanted to be a tall white guy with blonde hair and blue eyes. If you're, you're, you're fooling yourself, especially as a child, you don't think that's what I wanted. I could have told you anything. I wanted, I wanted anything in the world to be white. But that's not going to happen. Even if I got surgery to make myself white, I would. I still wouldn't be that. I wouldn't be what I want to be. I would never look like that. I'll never be that. Listen, everybody's grown. Go do what you want. All I'm saying is think about it. Don't have the media really pushing y'all to believe that if you change who you truly are, that everything's going to be fine because it's not. People who lose weight, they don't feel fine. They still may have big insecurities. People who get money, who came from poverty, may still end up miserable. They still they still may take their lives. People who go from this to that, it does not always mean that the grass is greener on the other side. I'm not trying to say this as a, a slight at people who are transgender or believe that they are transgender. I'm taking a slight at people who keep telling them that they're not okay who they are. It's not okay to be a man. It's not okay to have breasts. It's not okay to have penises. It's not okay. They reduce y'all They reduce y'all down to body parts and then tell you you got to change. They're saying because you got a penis... You need to change because you hate that about yourself. But same because you got breasts, you need to hate that about yourself. You got a vagina, you should hate that about yourself. Go get surgery. Go get surgery that's going to change your life forever and, and change who you are because you, who you are and who you were born with is unacceptable. That's what they're teaching you now. They're not teaching you to accept yourself. That's bull crap. They're not teaching you guys to be yourself. They are teaching you that if you don't like something, go change it. It's no different what we used to do with plastic surgery. It's the same thing that they used to do with weight loss. It's the truth. I'm losing weight, but even when I first lost 100 pounds, you know what? I, how I felt? Sad. Even though I saw all this weight coming off, I saw my face changing, my hips start hurting, and I started feeling better. My life was still life, dog. Because I still have to look myself in the mirror, and there's stuff I don't like about myself. It's just always going to be that way. I either choose to accept that about myself or i'm gonna live the rest of my life always changing because what happens when you go get life-changing surgery or maybe you do decide to start dressing as a woman or you do decide to start dressing as a man and you decide oh this is the life i'm gonna live you change your name you do all these different things and then to five years down the road what are you gonna say you know what if you don't feel that anymore what if you're like you know what i, I wish i hadn't have done this what are those people who are gonna say oh you do it you do it you do what you want to do what, what are people gonna say now because that's the problem I have sometimes. Listen, the whole LGBTQ, listen, not all of them, people who claim that place, then all obviously all of them are not the same. Exactly. You leave your wife and kids. We know what happened with Mr. Beast's friend. But what ends up happening? The problem I have with some of the LGBTQ, and this is what I have a problem with any group, really, honestly, is the same groups that say you were valid by coming out the closet. You were valid by changing your sex. You were valid by saying you were gay. You're valid by saying you're asexual. Those same people five years down the road when you feel like you're no longer asexual and you want to have sex with people, those are the same people are going to be like, well, you're validated in that too. And no matter, and that's what I'm saying. They don't check for anything. They don't try to check. They don't care about y'all. If you come out and say, hey, I'm gay or I'm bi or I'm lesbian, they're not even going to question it. They're just going to say, great, come join it. Great, come be one of us. Come put on a rainbow shirt. That's, just, that's all they're going to do. It's just it's just a place of validation. They don't care about you. They don't want you to search these things out. They don't want you to get to know yourself. They just say whatever you feel you are. And that's, that's garbage. That's not true acceptance. I don't care what you say. If you have any friends in your life who said no matter what you said, they would just agree with it. Would that be a healthy life? Do you think that'd be healthy? Like, no matter what you got to say, just be like, yeah, go for it. It's garbage. 
I'm not against people like I guess once I said again who are transgender go live your life but quit letting this this dang this dang group quit letting them validate stuff for you it's been it, what ends up happening is it's not even it's the older people who are doing it to the young people man you get these older people who want to push an agenda on you and when you're 17 years old and you're trying to figure out life they could be like no you're actually a girl come have this surgery or come come do this come get your breast chopped off come do this no leave the kids out of it do what you want to as an adult but just hear me out before you decide you want to be a woman or all these kind of things please stay away from this group go search somebody out that has no bias somebody who doesn't care which one you choose but somebody who's going to talk sense into you in fact I would encourage, honestly, I would encourage you to go talk to somebody who's against it and just hear them out because what we all do in this world, we all have biases. If I want to eat as much as I can and just say, oh, I'm healthy at any size, I shouldn't search out the people who would agree with that. I need to go talk to the people who disagree with it and then get actual knowledge. And then if I still choose to live that life, okay, I made my decision as a grown man. But you as a trans person or you as a person who comes out of the closet saying you're gay or lesbian or bi, asexual, or I mean, there's so many grace, what is it, gray sexual, oh my gosh, there's a lot, or being a furry or all this kind of stuff, not a furry, uh, a, what do you call it, a therian, a therian, okay, all these people who come out and do all that, go talk to somebody who's against that, because I've talked to people who are transgender, I've talked to people who are gay, I've talked to people who are lesbian, I've talked to these groups, Okay, it obviously did not change my mind. But my, the point is, I still listen. And what we end up happening too much now is the LGBTQ people don't even want to talk to the other side. If you say that you're gay, they just accept it. You don't get... Go talk to somebody who may be like, hey, I don't agree with that. Even if you end up still saying, hey, you know it is what it is. Even if you come out and say, I still want to be a woman. If you still come out and say you want to be a man, okay, but go talk to somebody who disagrees with it. Not somebody who's going to yell at you or something like that, even though a lot of people don't. Just go find somebody who you respect and be like, hey, what do you think about this? And just hear them out. If you still decide to do what you're going to do, do it. But people are asking you to say, hey, I think I might be a woman. Okay, you're accepted. Go change your gender. I mean, people just they don't even give you a chance to think. And I don't think that's love. I don't care what this this group always talks about. Oh, just love who you want. Because I don't, I don't honestly, I'm not hearing that from this group anymore. It's not about loving yourself. It's not. It's about do whatever you want. If you believe it, do it. They don't tell you to go. They don't tell you to talk to nobody. They don't tell you to, hey, maybe you want to search this out. Maybe you want to think about this. No, what they start saying to you, and this has always got on my nerve. What they end up telling you guys is, hey, when you were a kid, did you ever put on high heels? Hey, when you were a kid, did you like to play with the girls? Come on, man. We know that's based off of your environment. That's based off your environment and a lot of things that go on in your life. Just because you wore high heels, even though you were a boy, you wore high heels and a skirt one time, doesn't mean you need you want to be a woman. It just means you put on high heels and a skirt out of curiosity because you were a child. I have worked with children for over 18 years. And people really, who do, I can tell who works with kids and who doesn't. Because they really think that a five-year-old, six-year-old are thinking on the same level as adults. These kids barely know how to write. If you listen to these kids, they can barely even say words correctly. And you're thinking that they can come to the conclusion that they want to be the opposite gender when they're five and six? Or 10? Or 11, 12? I've, I've worked with kids from three well, I've worked for kids from all ages, but I work mainly I've worked for kids from the ages of three to 18. I'm telling you from three to 18, I have worked with children for the last 18 years. I have telling y'all that y'all, y'all, you people who think that children just understand everything is, is wild to me. A lot of these children, by even when they're 10 or 11, they can barely even do fractions. And y'all are thinking, oh man, they must know the, the, the meaning to life. Now they know that they want to be a boy. Now they want to know they want to be a girl. Now they know they're gay. Now they know they're lesbians. Because one time when they were a kid, they played with a pink Barbie doll. And so that, that must mean, because I hear that all the time. Because I hear that all the time. When I, when I hear somebody say, oh, I knew I was going to be transgender when I was eight. No, you didn't. 
you believe that because you've been taught that it happened in your childhood but no you were probably told that i've seen enough eight-year-olds i've talked to enough children to tell you they're not thinking on that deep of a level most times they're not an eight-year-old how old do you think eight really is come on an eight-year-old is a second to third grader not a high schooler maybe y'all need to go check the ages but kids are five in kindergarten they're six in first grade seven in second grade they're eight in the third grade you're talking about a third grader saying oh i know everything i know i can't even sp i know i can barely do math and i have trouble reading but i know that this part of my body i know i want to change it no they don't quit messing with the kids stop it if you want to make the decision to do what you want at eight when you turn 18 do it but i'm going to reiterate this one more time before you decide you want to change everything about yourself go talk to somebody who disagrees with you if that's the a mature adult thing to do go talk to somebody who disagrees don't go to a group of people who are automatically going to validate you no matter what you say no matter what you say if you say you're woman validated gay validated lesbian validated gay sexual validated demisexual va demisexual just for you people who don't know what a demisexual is, it is somebody and this is what i'm talking about with these labels a demisexual is somebody who cannot have sex with somebody unless they have an emotional connection doesn't that sound like the majority of people a bunch of people don't tend to have sex with somebody unless they have an emotional connection but that's called a demisexual that's what i'm talking about everything is validated oh i'm a demisexual i thought i was just a normal human being no you're something you gotta be something nobody's just normal you you gotta be something you gotta be a b c d e f g you gotta be some leave people alone let them make their own decisions i love y'all don't get caught up peace